All right, so uh, let's talk about Builder Simulator. This game comes out June 9, 2022. And I want to talk about how it works. Is it worth your time and money? All that good stuff, the pros and cons. First of all, thank the devs and publishers, live motion games for the review copy and frozen away. However, all thoughts will be my own. This game is single player, Steam achievements, partial controller support. Now, the game is not in early access. It releases pretty much version 1.0. However, there's still a lot of things that need to be done optimization wise and just some extra content, but we'll get to that in a bit. So this is yet another simulator game. Does it stand out? Is it optimized enough? Is there enough content here to be worth your time and money? Personally, I would say it does what it wants to do well, eh, but that's pretty much it. Let's talk about the different modes in the game. So there is a sort of campaign mode, which is called contracts. In the sort of contracts, you go to mission to mission with a budget and you're simply just doing the tasks that they want you to do. It's not always building a full house. Sometimes it's only, oh, lay the foundation you know do some pool stuff make the walls and then you move on to different contracts right now there as of the release or at least the build i'm playing in there's nine contracts and there's going to be adding a lot more later so there is not a lot of you know campaign content this is the game where you aren't want to playing you know you don't want to play the game for that you want to play it for the mechanics you want to play it for the creativity the next mode that they got is the planning mode now in the planning mode it's not complicated it looks complicated first but as soon as you learn the ins and outs it's very simple because each because planning out is extremely important because the game goes step by step by step it's foundation then you got to do the the walls then you got to do the ceiling then you got to do the interiors so you have to go step by step by step and the game kind of walks you through that so when you're planning it you get a blueprint and you basically do everything you make the walls you figure out the interior walls it's going to be plaster is it going to be concrete so are you going to have a swimming pool a secondary floor maybe have have like a little deck etc so there's a lot of stuff here you know windows uh the size of them the doors which way do they swing open there's a lot of intricacies here but once you plan it out you can save it you can upload them you can share them to other players but once you have it there you can use it in two different other types of modes so that was the planning mode you have the sandbox mode where you have infinite money you start with a gigantic plot of land there's like a 7x7 seven seven, a 16x16 16 by, uh, 16 by 16 and a 30 by 30 plot of land and you have to use the the planner uh, blueprints that you did to import it there and then you just start working step by step by step so the sandbox mode as i mentioned it is infinite money but you are doing it step by step so every single brick you're going to be putting up every single door you're going to be screwing it in and stuff um so they did some interesting things here in the sandbox i think they got a lot of feedback from their demos because they made the things a lot more streamlined you there are still some tedious stuff such as you know meticulously uh, very monotonously putting down um, you know plaster on everything you know putting every little bit you're putting down but there's a lot of stuff that they streamline such as doing mini games so you can quickly put things down you can um, honestly they have a skip button where you hold left control and depending on what step you're on it auto fills it out so let's say a step you really really do not want to do is put tiles on the roof it's not that bad but let's say you wanted to skip it you would hold left control and it would just put everything down now it auto does it so that means you aren't going to be able to customize it customize how it looks the angles the type of it and then after you do that on the bottom left it loads the control so you have to wait again maybe mess around a little bit and then you get to uh skip as much as you want you get to skip everything if you want and just go straight into the building but if that's the case then you want to go to another mode just called the interior designer mode where it's exactly what it sounds like you go to that mode and the house is built you import the blueprint it's built and all you have to do is go there and paint the walls and furnish the house there's lots of different types of furniture from office bedroom bathroom kitchens you can increase the size the proportions of things move them around you can put frames on the walls you can import pictures as well so you can get really crazy 
with the interior design. So like I mentioned, uh, contracts, sandbox, interior design, and planning mode. That Those are the different modes you're going to be playing in the game. There is a tutorial mode, which I went through, and it took a lot... It took a long time to do it was an hour for all of the tutorial steps however i do say they did a good job with it there's a little voice buddy that helps you out his name is bill Durr. builder get it and i guess he's their little mascot he's fully voiced he uh, says a lot of little funny jokes and he helps you go through the whole thing um however i feel like the tutorial was very 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 slow there is a lot of steps and honestly, you can skip ahead a little bit. Like you can, like you can see exactly what to do next. Like okay, there's some screws here with an outline. I'm just gonna go ahead and skip and just go to the screw thing and click it already. But he's like talking. He's like, make sure you take out your your uh, your screwdriver, your drill. And it's like I already did it. I feel like they should do it. Where if if you figured out what to do and you already did the skip, skip and go to the next one. Cause that would have shaved off like 10 minutes of all that tutorial time. But you know, it's either they didn't think about that or they really wanted you to listen to all the lines, which is kind of annoying, but it's cool. They have some references to things. For example, uh, you can change the skin of your shovel to diamond. I'm assuming like Minecraft, right? Um, so let's talk about the actual building mechanics. They're not bad. You know, there's a lot of it's like mixing concrete, placing stuff down, digging, plastering, insulation, tile walled. It's not bad. It really is not bad. The whole game, the whole appeal of it is after you're done with the tutorial, after you're done with the contracts, you plan and you build your own house. And that's pretty much it. There's not much else to the game after that. And, you know, depending on the really huge, crazy amounts of builds that you plan to do, it could take you a long time to build your house. Thank God they have the, the skipping option. So yeah, it's... You know, at its core, it's not a bad simulator game. I've definitely played worse. You know what's what's worse is these type of, these sort of building games that have you, uh, you know, you know, place monotonously brick by brick by brick, only in spots that they want you to do. There was one I played a while ago where you had like no freedom. It's like here, put a block here, put a block here. Here, here's the finished house. It's like I didn't get to do anything at all. So this one at least lets you customize and build the way you want. Um, so yeah, they need more content. Otherwise you're just building one or two houses, planning it out. And then that's pretty much it. There's no, not really a good challenge here. Maybe in different contracts, you have money and you can be more limited later. Uh, but let's talk about some of the bad things, the optimizations that need to be fixed. This game has, has partial control supports and yeah, partial indeed. Uh, I recommend playing only keyboard and mouse right now. You can play with the controller. However, the, you cannot change the sensitivity on the mouse movement on your right stick it's terrible um even on keyboard and mouse there are some things that need to be switched up for uh, for example i would love it if you can change the hotkeys for everything you can do most things you can change things but there was one like uh middle mouse click i really wanted to change that one out it was not in there and that one opens up the wheel so you can choose your uh so you can choose your tools and my mouse wheel is a little messed up on this nice Corsair mouse and so you know I kept on messing up so you know I want to be able to do all that um, optimization for this game was a little all over the place as well I had to really lower the graphics I do have to say that so optimization is not that great music is bland as hell this is a simulator game so I did not expect good music the only thing that's really good audio wise was the robot guy. But after the tutorial and helping you in contracts, that's pretty much it. He's not going to be there at all during the sandbox mode or the other stuff. So the creativity here is great. Uh, just needs a lot more single player stuff. I mean, it's all single player. There's no multiplayer. I mean, like more campaign stuff, more like challenging thing stuff. I would really like that. Make it so you have to build within a certain restraint, uh, uh, like... They require certain things, you have to plan it out, and then you have a budget to work with. I think that would be really, really, really cool. But there is a lot here. I cannot wait to see a lot of people play this. A lot of streamers who do um, you know, simulator games are going to have a blast with this just because the amount of customization you can do, especially with planning. and everything. It's going to look good. It's going to look really, really, really good. So 
Hey, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like. It helps a lot. If you haven't already, subscribe for daily videos. All the footage you're seeing is taken straight from our Twitch stream, so link down below. Come by, and I'll be uploading it all on the Let's Play channel. One, one more quick thing I want to mention. There's a lot of different vistas, a lot of different environments to build, too. You got American suburbs. You have the, uh, the deserts. You have the highlands. You have a lot of places, so there's a good amount of environments. You can't really interact with it. You can walk around a little bit, but that's pretty much it. So that's Builder Simulator. Not bad. Really, really not bad. I'm uh, pleasantly surprised. I just wish there was a lot more single player challenge stuff. Right? If they don't do much with the game and update it, I guess you're only picking it up for a couple of fun creative houses. But other than that, that's it. So that's it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.